So let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart, facing comfortably forward. Knees just slightly bent, relaxed, not locked out. Bring the hips forward so the tailbone points towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in just a bit. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth with a nice big sigh. Ah. Twice more. Another deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and this time let your shoulders drop down. Arms come slightly around in front. Breathing in and out through the nose now. Nice, slow, deep breaths. your focus to your breath. Notice the quality of the air as it enters and exits your nostrils, as it travels through your body. Bring your attention to your feet. Wiggle your toes around a little bit. Shift your weight around. Feel all the parts of your foot making contact with the ground. Connecting all the way down to the center of the earth. Become aware of that sense of being grounded. Feel the earth rising up to support you, merging with you. Take a couple more nice, easy, deep breaths here. Feel your feet sinking into the ground. Step out to a little wider stance. Let's just go into water waves. Nice and easy, very slowly turning at the waist. Let the hands shift just a little bit, like they're running them through a pond of water. Feel the air moving between your fingers. Each time you turn to the side, see if you can get a little further around, allowing the back to loosen up. You can feel any resistance as your hands move through the energetic field that surrounds you. 
the way she Slow it down. Come to the center. Hands facing downward. Let your hands float to the right, then float up. You shift your weight to the left, and they float down. We shift our weight to the right, and hands come up. So notice I'm not moving the arms side to side at all. That's totally dependent on my body. My hands just float up and down. Can get to the point where it feels like it's totally effortless. Everything just kind of happening. Try to go as slow as almost uncomfortable, but not quite. One more time and then we're going to reverse. We're going to come across the body and then come back and go the opposite direction. One more time. Come back to the center. Bring one hand over the other. Bring them up over your head, lean back slightly. Then bending at the waist. Pushing the hips back. Float down as far as you can comfortably. When you get to the bottom, we're going to breathe in as you come back up. All the way up, pause the breath, lean back slightly, breathe out as you go down. And when you get to the bottom, bend your knees a little bit, sit up a bit, and then power up with the legs so you're not working the lower back at all. Full body flow.
One more time, and then we're going to drop down. And then stay down. At this point, go to even wider stance and just let your body relax. Let your head hang, your shoulders, your arms. The only place you're going to feel any tension is in the back of the legs. Each time you breathe out, see if you can sink a little closer to the floor. Don't lock your knees out, let your knees be slightly bent. Good, now we're gonna roll up. So we're gonna first tuck under, tuck the hips forward, leave the shoulders and head down. Then we're stacking one vertebra on top of the other in the lower back, the mid back, the upper back, the shoulders, the neck. And then we're gonna lean back just a little bit, open the palms to the front, and then come back down. Just hang again. Roll up one more time. So tuck the hips first. Then each vertebra gets stacked as you come up. And then just lean back just a little bit, opening the chest. Uh, drop down again, nice and slowly. This time, reach across with your right hand to the outside of your left leg. You can do it up by the knee, you can do it down by the ankle, up by the thigh, wherever it's comfortable. We're then going to bring our left hand up. We're going to follow with our eyes, and we're going to bring it as close as we can to pointing at the ceiling. Pushing a bit with the right hand. And sweep down, come across. The left hand now grabs the right leg. The right arm goes up to the ceiling as we watch it. And then float down and switch. One more time each side. Good, come back to the center. Again, relax. Let your head drop. Back stretch out. Shoulders are relaxed, necks relaxed. And slowly roll back up. This time as you roll back up, bring your feet in about shoulder width apart. So you're standing straight. Bring the hands, palms up, straight up the body, breathing in. They roll in front of your face. As you look forward, palms push it upward. Then they sweep down. So we breathe in as we come up. Pause the breath as we push upward. Now we breathe out as we go down. 
We pause the breath again as we gather fresh energy, bring it up as we breathe in. Buddha holds up the earth. One more time. Good. Right. Turn palms up. Bring the hands up over the head. Turn to your left. Drop the hands down, palms down. Now we come up to center lines, you're facing forward, and we switch. and slow, relaxed, controlled. One more time each side. All right, clear the lungs. Bring the feet in fairly close together. As you breathe in, come up onto the toes, drawing the energy up into the chest. Pause there, get a little extra stretch, and then breathe out as you go down. Pause, gather fresh energy, bring it up as you go up on your toes. See if you can get up a little bit higher, and then go back down. more time. Good. Put the hands come up to the side, just float up, float down. It's time to float up higher. Back of the hands almost touch, and then they float back down. We breathe in as we come halfway up. Pause and breathe out as you go down. Pause. Breathe in as you go all the way up. Breathe out as you go down.
Let us time each position. Good. Let's try the rooster's comb. The tricky part about this is getting your hands set. So what you want to try and do is take your hands, back of the hands face each other, put them tight together. Then you're going to hook the pinkies, then the ring fingers, the middle fingers, and then finally the index fingers. The thumbs stay free. So it looks kind of like that. The back of the hands are together, so we're lifting the elbows a little bit. A little bit of a puzzle. Everybody got it? Good. Go ahead now and take that and put that on top of your head. There's your rooster's comb. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look, leave the rooster's comb there, and we're going to look side to side. One more time. Now nod your head up and down. Give yourself enough room. One more time. Look straight forward and lift the rough roosters, comb upward. Breathing in, breathing out, let it settle back down. One more time. Bring it down to the head. Unravel the fingers. Remember which finger was in front of which. Drop it down. Bring it back so that you're crossing. And now switch which one is in front. We're doing just the opposite in terms of which finger is in front of which. It can be a little tricky. Good. Take that rooster's comb. We're going to do the same thing, but not as many times. Side to side once. Up and down. Up and down. Then push up. Down. One more time. Bring it down to the head. Let the arm slope down. Good. Bring the hands around so that your thumbs are facing down and pointing towards the back. Look over your right shoulder. Twist the entire arm as far as you can comfortably. Then look over to the left shoulder, rotating the thumbs up and back as far as comfortable. And then back and forth, nice and slowly. One more time each side. And back to center. Good. Let's 
scoop up energy, bring it all the way up over the head and down. I do the same thing, but wrists cross as you come up and down. Step out to a little wider stance. This time drop down, gather the energy from the ground, like you're scooping up water from a pond, bringing it up and then down. One more time. Good. Bring your hands to the hips, palms facing up. With your left hand, turn to the right and then push with the left hand. Try not to lean, try to stay upright. Then we bring that hand back and the right hand comes out and pushes to the left. Breathe into the center, breathe out as you push to the side. more time each side. I'm going to do something similar. It's called Fair Maiden Works the Shuttle. The idea here is we're going to push as we were doing with the left hand out to the right. But instead of leaving the right hand down, the right hand comes up over your head palm up as you push. Then as you come back to the center, imagine grabbing onto a chi ball, rolling the chi ball over, and then pushing to the opposite side. Imagine you're pushing the shuttle through the loom. Nice and slow and controlled. One more time each side. Come back to the center. Hold on that chi ball. You're going to take that chi ball, turn it so that your left hand is on top, right hand is below. We're going to turn to the right, and as we do, we're sort of going to serve something like a platter with our right hand. It's going to go up. The left hand pushes down. Then we come across, grab that chi ball, turn to the center, and as we continue to turn, the left hand goes out, up and out, right hand goes down.
Again, slow and controlled. Parting the wild horse's mane. So imagine you're stroking under the horse's neck as you're running your fingers along the mane. One more time each side. Right, come back to the center with the chi ball. Change the direction here. Your left hand is on top. So we're going to turn to the left. We're going to roll the ball over and then we're going to turn to the right. Sort of the energetic form of cloud hands in a way. It's called dragon playing with a chi ball. Maintaining contact with that ball the entire time, moving very slowly across as we turn from the waist. So the arms aren't really moving at all, except to roll the ball over. Back to the center. Continue across as we were doing, but this time your four fingers are going to grab the thumb and pull it upward as you hold the bottom. And we come back to the ball, we roll it over, and then we pull it up again. We're holding the bottom of a lantern here. And we're capturing and holding fireflies in the lantern. One more time. Come back to the center. Drop the hands down. Scoop up the hands, same kind of hand where you do four fingers to the thumb, bring them up the center line of the body. And basically using the elbow almost as a hinge, go out and then drop down. You breathe in, breathe out.
that one more time, and then we're gonna switch hands, switch arms. Right hand goes up. Right hand goes out. Yeah. Breathing in. Breathing out. The body is not turning, facing forward the entire time. Just bring it up the body, hinging over and down. Very nice. But one more time. Then we're going to do both hands at once. Back down, and both come up. Both reach out. Dragon grasping air. One more time. Good. One handed teacup. So you can either do it to the side or you can do it just as with two handed front to back. The idea though is just trying to keep the palm up. Don't worry about it if you turn it over. Just try to be conscious of it and fight it a little bit and see if you can keep palm up. So we're going to take the palm. We're going to come across, sorry, we're going to come across the body, over the head, round and back down. You can tell with one handed, I prefer to go side to side because for two handed, we go front to back. So by doing this, you're working all the parts of the body. Try not to struggle with it. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated by it. It will come. And once it does, it's just a beautiful, nice, slow. One more time. Now let's go to the opposite hand.
One more time. Good. Now let's do two-handed. So remember with two-handed, it's really a lot to do with the hips, moving the hips back and forth. We're gonna start with our hands in front of us, hips back. We bring our hips forward, that brings our arms into the body. They go past the body, they rotate fingertips out, they come around, then they go over the head as your hips go forward and then back. One more time. Go ahead. Bring the hands up to the body and then push down. Nice and easy. Just let it float. Sort of like the wrists are being pulled up as you breathe in. And then they float back down as you breathe out. Good. We're going to let our right hand continue to come up, comes around, it then lifts the left hand up, and then they both sink down, and they switch. So you come around, following with your eyes, up, down, breathing in, breathing out. Kuan Yin paints the rainbow. Kuan Yin being the goddess of love. For those of you that saw my most recent blog, and I apologize, I haven't been posting very many. We just passed what's considered Chinese Valentine's Day. I think that was on Thursday. One more time each side. They bring the hands so they're facing downward. Your left hand now is going to come down, palm up, scoop up the energy. Turn the right hand palm up, gather the energy, bring it into the head. Then take energy that no longer serves you, that no longer needs, send it down the arm and off the fingertips into the ground to be recycled. Then the right hand scoops backward as the left hand turns palm up and it comes around again. Repulsing the monkey. 
as especially the two palms cross, see if you can feel that building of energy and then feel the release as it pushes it out and off your fingertips. Very much like doing a crawl stroke and swimming. Nice, easy, nice, and slowly, really focus on trying to feel that energy. So we gather the energy, we bring it into the head. Then we take energy, send it down the arm, off the fingers. One more time, each side. And bring down the heavens. Gather the energy on the sides, breathe it in. Breathe it out as you push energy down through the top of your head, down your torso, down the legs, and move around the other side. Twice more, breathe in. Bring your hands down. Bring your right hand, palm out, bring your lower back. Left hand sweeps across the body and then comes up and across the body. Flux the star, spreads the stardust across the sky, gathers that energy and pulls it down into your body. When you get to the bottom, you switch. Plucking a star to form the Big Dipper. One more time each side. Right. Bring both hands out, round, Thumbs and first fingers touch, forming a triangle facing outward. Allow that triangle to drop down the body. Well, it gets to the bottom, the triangle then faces the ground. And we bring that triangle up to the heart and turn it to the outside again. And we push that energy out into the universe gather energy and pull it into our own bodies, back it against the earth, and then we start over. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out.
One more time. Down and around into prayer position. Collapse the chest, roll the shoulders forward, tuck the chin down a little bit. And basically just doing the opposite, lifting the chin, opening the chest, pushing the shoulder blades together, looking up, breathing in, breathing out. One more time. But in prayer position, we're going to take our hands away from the body, roll the hands so the fingers point down as we bring them down to the abdomen. You breathe in as they come up, and then they roll over and go forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Circling the cheek. One more time. But if Phoenix spreads its wings a little more with the ankles, instead of going straight up, though, we're going to push the knees kind of forward as our wings rise. We lift our heels off the ground. The wings sink. The heels go back down. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Now, as you come down, drop down as low as you can comfortably. If you need to put your hands on your thighs, that's fine. Lifting the heels off the ground and just lightly bounce. Put your hands to the sides, to the front, whatever feels right. Feel the knees, the hips, the ankles all loosening up. Now powering up with the legs, push straight up. Bring the left hand, right hand, palm up below the lower dantian. Left hand scoops up the energy, thumb and first finger separate as it comes down the center line of the body. We get to the bottom, we switch. Breathing in, breathing out, centering. One more time. Finish with one palm over the other, doesn't matter which. Just feel that energy moving through your body. Feel that sense of purification. Allowing the energy to expand outward. And as you float weightlessly inside this energetic cocoon, 
become aware of what it feels like to be safe, to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those energies, those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.